Hey guys, Casey here with I Love Cars. Um, up kind of early, getting my car ready to head off to the track today. Uh, we're doing a track day at Atlanta Motorsports Park with my buddy James, aka Jay Zilla. Uh, puts on a nice group track days. There's about 100 drivers today. Heading up there with some friends. Obviously, I'm taking the Golf R. Um, it's on stock tires and stock brakes. It's going to be a little wet, but uh, it looks like it'll dry up near the end of the day. I'm going to hopefully get some ride-alongs with some friends and, um, you know, just have a good time. So, hope you guys like the footage. Thanks. Okay, so here we are a little bit later in the day. It's probably my second or third run group. Um, the earlier runs were a little wet, so we were just kind of cruising, just taking it easy. And then obviously here, uh, a little later in the day, it's a bit drier. Um, this is uh, my first time taking the Golf R out on the track. I've been to AMP probably seven, seven or eight times or so. Um, all actually in Subarus, to be honest. And um, I'm very familiar with the five speeds and the six speeds, both in the WRXs and STIs. So this was my first time in the Golf R. Obviously, it's got a six speed. And uh, I was just, you know, it's got a little bit different gearing than what I'm used to. So I was just kind of cruising, learning the car. Um, and then obviously my friend is in the car as well. So a little bit of added weight and it was his first time on the track. So, you know, overall, I was going about six tenths, maybe seven tenths, you know, the most of the day. And, uh, you know, obviously my car is completely stock, stock tires, stock brakes, you know, the stock fluid that comes in, you know, the VWs as well. So, you know, I was just out here cruising, having, having some fun, learning the car and, uh, you know, just, just trying to have some fun. Surprisingly enough, the tires were a little better than I thought they were, um, under braking, they really sucked, but, you know, high speed you know the big sweeper coming into 16 you know going 100 or you know 95 100 miles an hour um you know i had a lot of confidence in the in the tires i could feel you know everything that they were doing so i wasn't too uh you know worried about anything but um surprising the card actually did surprisingly well no heat problems or anything like i said i wasn't you know going anything above seven tenths so just right in its you know kind of sweet spot and i was you know you know, even early shifting sometimes just to, you know, keep the RPMs at a little lower, but, um, it's obviously my daily driver. So I'm not interested in, you know, wrecking it, breaking it, you know, or wearing it down any quicker, uh, than what I would normally do. But, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was a, it was a great day. It, um, there was a little bit of traffic. Um, as you can see, pretty much every group I was in or every run I was in, you know, I was, I was, I was in traffic. Um, I even tried to, <laughs> I tried to rush out to get to the front of the pack, uh, to get out earlier. So I wouldn't have to run through as much traffic as I did, but, um, you know, things didn't work out, but as you can see, the car's doing pretty well. I'm trying different lines, you know, every time I go around just to see what the car likes the most. Um, like I said in the, you know, earlier part of this video, I have a lot of experience with Subarus out here, so I'm super familiar with them and the gearing and, you know, which gear you should be in and stuff. So I was just, you know, cruising, learning the car. Um, as you can see in the video, you know, I'm in, I'm in full kind of relax mode. I actually had the seat heaters on. It was pretty cold out, uh, but normally I sit a little closer to the steering wheel when I'm actually trying to go fast. Um, but I was just trying to keep my buddy, you know, uh, like I said, he's this is his first time on the track. I was trying to keep him comfortable and stuff. Um, but anyway, this is uh, obviously in the car with my, uh, it's a different car, not my car. I'm in the car with my friend, Nick. Uh, he's got a gang of cars. This is one of his Miatas. This is actually his mint green turbo Miata that he's been driving for quite a long time. Uh, not sure if it's a 90 or 93, but it's definitely an NA. Uh, it's got a turbo kit on it. I think like a flying Miata two kit or something. It probably makes 250, 260 wheel horsepower. Um, at this point in the video, he is not on race tires. He is on street tires. Uh, so it's really impressive for him to be 
keeping up and passing, you know, a lot of these guys in the, uh, in the group that he's in, you know, with street tires on and, you know, obviously he's down, you know, two to 300 horsepower on most of these cars that are here. Um, but it's a, uh, it's an awesome little car. It's like, feels like it's on rails and it did really well. Um, obviously this is a little bit later in the day, as you can see, the track has dried up and, um, he's got some awesome lines. He's an awesome driver. I've been to quite a few events with him and he's done a lot more than I have. And, uh, he actually has another car that's called the Eliminator, which is basically a Miata with everything removed, keeps the Miata drivetrain, and then you basically build a cage on top of it. And the nickname that they've gotten is a, is called the Eliminator or Eliminators. Um, and obviously, since it was really cold and rainy um, and he has no windscreen on it, he brought this car uh, because it was you know a little better for the uh, conditions and the elements. Um, but it was uh it was super fun nonetheless i've been in this car a few times with him on the track and it is solid as a rock and um totally totally awesome and uh right here is uh what you guys see in the intro he basically gets a flat coming into turn one from like 120 miles an hour um, a <laughs> little, little scary for him to come into the turn and have no front grip. Um, but he handled it pretty well and we made a lap and got off the track. All right. So we ended up with a flat. What? Yeah. Your rims in not too bad of shape. Well, it was already pretty chewed up. Hey guys. So we're obviously back home. The golf bar made it back in one piece. Um, my brake fluid did not. I boiled it by probably the fifth or sixth run group. Um, I was definitely over braking as I have really crappy all seasons on the car, the tires that came on the car, and obviously stock pads. So my braking was a little different than what I would normally do. And I was obviously getting used to the car first time taking it on the track. Uh, but I had a great time. Um, got to ride along with some friends. You saw the piece uh, with Nick's Turbo Miata. Um, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment and subscribe and, um, you know, share it around if you like the content. Thanks.